I have always wanted a treehouse. I saw them in the films, they look pretty awesome. Some of my friends at school had tree houses and they were pretty amazing as well. But sadly, I didn't have a tree in my garden. So even if I wanted one, I couldn't build a tree house. Now I'm 20 years of age, I have my own garden. It still doesn't have a tree in it. So I think I've pretty much given up on the dream of building a tree house at this point in time. But here we are in Minecraft and we've got ourselves a rather massive tree and we're going to be constructing a redstone tree house in today's video. This is going to be filled to the brim with really awesome contraptions. I think this is going to be a ton of fun, so let's crack on. Now, if you want to build this along with me, then there will be a world download for this exact world down in the description. But also, if you want to build this very tree, then it was actually designed by someone called Cream Wafers. I'll put a link to the download down in the description so that you can check it out for yourselves because, well, this thing is amazing. It is quite frankly awesome, and it is also perfect for building your own treehouse. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is create an entrance to this place. Now, the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to head off to the right-hand side of the tree, just over here, and I'm going to take out a couple blocks like this, and basically pop on through into the tree trunk itself. So, this is how we're going to be getting up to the top of the treehouse. Of course it is, okay? That seems like the best way to do it. And what we're going to do is create a bit of a redstone entrance so that we have a secret way to get into this place. Now that is going to involve taking out a few blocks over there, some sticky pistons here, and then some sticky pistons facing across with the blocks on their faces. And when these things extend, it will look a little bit like this, which looks totally natural. Now it's time to put in the redstone device that is actually going to open up the piston door that we're going to be building in the next couple seconds. So the first thing I'm going to do is take out that block right there, and we're going to place a redstone torch right here. Now this is going to be our redstone torch key. So you want to pop round to the other side. We're probably going to have to take out a few blocks right here. We want to place a sticky piston just next to that redstone torch. So as you can see, that redstone torch is right there, and the sticky piston is down here. It's extending because the redstone torch is actually powering that sticky piston. So we're going to place in a block just like this. We're going to have to take out a few extra blocks over here. A block down at the bottom here with a redstone torch, a repeater set to four ticks. Then you want to place in a block and basically run the redstone up into a sticky piston that is going to be facing in this direction just like this. So there's going to be redstone dust right there and redstone dust running across the top into that sticky piston. And as you can see, that means that our redstone torch key is actually fully functional. When we place down a redstone torch, we get ourselves a redstone output and then it gets broken by our sticky piston. So that part was nice and easy. Just one thing that I want to mention is, of course, I am going to have a bunch of holes in my tree right here. Do not worry, I will cover those up. It's just to make way for all of the redstone. So we're going to place in an observer facing upwards and then a block on his face. And this is going to create the T flip flop which is actually going to be powering our piston door right here. So we're going to have a sticky piston facing across with a redstone block on its face. And that's pretty much it. That there is our T flip flop completed. So now we can just break a few of these blocks right here, place in some blocks like that, redstone, a repeater set to two ticks, and then some redstone right there. And that should finish up our flush piston door. So if you place in a redstone torch on this block, you can see that our door closes up. And then when we place the redstone torch in again, the door opens. It's absolutely perfect. I mean, it's a really simple little redstone circuit. Obviously, there's quite a few bits and pieces running around here, and it looks a tiny bit ugly with these iron blocks, but it functions fine. And now, just quickly, I'm going to cover up the gigantic hole that I made, try my best to make it look as natural as possible. Now, you guys know I'm not particularly good at that sort of thing, but I feel like I've done an okay job right there. Next up, we're going to be creating the launcher that is going to be sending us to the top of the treehouse, which of course is very important indeed. But before we do that, we've got to cover up all of these blocks. I personally am going to be using oak wood here, but you can use whatever blocks you really fancy. So just chuck all of those in like that, and you should end up with something that looks a little bit like this. But make sure that you leave this block left out, because otherwise you won't be able to travel upwards, and that's fairly essential. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to place a sticky piston down at the bottom here, with a slime block on his face. We're going to be punching out these blocks right here and also take out that block so that we can actually jump on top of this thing. Then we're going to have a button down at the bottom here which we're going to be pressing and you need to replace all of these blocks with movable objects. Now I personally am going to be using note blocks but you can use whatever blocks you really want to. If you fancy a slightly different button placement to this one, you can break that one right there, place this one in on this side, then place those two immovable objects in like that. And then you want to head outside, and once again, replace the blocks on the outside of the tree. So I'm just going to chuck a couple in like that. And to be honest, you wouldn't even know that those things were there. Now, if we use that slime block launcher, you will see we got around about that high. Okay, so we need to place in a few blocks like this and we can do a quick tester So we do that. And we have got the perfect height. Now, if you want to know the exact height, it is one, two, three blocks above your redstone up at the top there. 
we can just fill in all of these blocks just like this and then fill in all of the blocks for our tunnel so that you can't see too much of the exposed redstone. Obviously we can't help things like that happening but that should just about do it. So this is going to launch us up to the top of the treehouse if we can just about do it and now we need to create a few little stairs to get us up onto the correct layer. Now I'm going to be building my treehouse around about four blocks higher than our entrance area. So we're going to pop up like this, just travel up like that. And then we're going to travel up this tiny little spiral staircase right here. And we're going to go up one more layer just like that. And this is where our treehouse is actually going to be going. So I'm going to create a pretty big platform right here. And this is where we're actually going to be placing in all of the redstone contraptions and doing all of the cool bits and bobs. And with these final few fence posts, my entire platform has now been completed. And I have to say, it looks pretty cool already, but there are quite a few bits and bobs missing. Like for example, we've got this massive gaping hole right here. So I'm going to have to fill in some of these blocks. And I'm also going to chuck in some fence posts down at the bottom here, which are just going to act like supports almost down at the bottom. And they really help. I mean, they make the design look 10 times cooler than it already did. So I'm going to go around like this, maybe chuck in a few extra fence posts down like that. And yeah, that looks pretty cool. I could probably do one perhaps there. Yeah, that looks good. And then just a few making their way around like this and maybe just a few dangling down like that. I mean, anything that really looks wild and crazy is really going to suit this sort of style. So yeah, definitely some over here. Basically do whatever you think looks natural and if it doesn't end up looking natural, then take it down and build it all again. Now that I've broken pretty much every internal leaf block, AKA the ones that don't go to the outside, what we're going to do is start sprinkling redstone lamps all over the place. So it's going to be one there, perhaps one down at the bottom there, perhaps one down there. Uh, I would say chucking in one here will look pretty cool as well. Just make sure that they're decently spread out, but also there's quite a few of them all over the place because we want this to look spectacular, okay? We want it to look really, really crazy, and we're not going to be able to do that with like three redstone lamps. I'm talking at least 20 throughout this entire tree. So definitely one there, definitely one down at the bottom there. And also make sure that you spread them out throughout the entire tree because you don't want all of them concentrated in one small spaces. That would look just a tiny bit silly. So once you've sprinkled your redstone lamps throughout the tree, you just want to pop to the outside and make sure that you've placed them in all of the locations. Because trust me, it's very easy to miss spots, okay? You can miss entire sections of the tree. When I was actually designing this thing, I missed pretty much this entire area right here. There were no redstone lamps in there whatsoever and it looked really, very stupid. So make sure before you wire everything up, that you've got all the redstone lamps in the correct places. Yep, I've got them in that corner. I've got them going out through the middle of the tree. Got some over here. Everything is looking pretty good. I could probably do one or two over here, but to be honest with you, that's not too much of a concern. So I'm going to pop back inside the tree. I'm going to try my best to find some form of entrance or I'll just break my way through. And what we're going to do now is we're going to start connecting up all of these redstone lamps. So the way that we're going to do that is by placing green hardened clay like this and we're essentially going to snake it throughout this entire area, okay? There's no two ways about it. You're going to have to connect up all of these redstone lamps, and I'm just going to warn you, no matter how hard you try, you are going to miss at least one of them. So just accept it and get started. Now I'm going to be putting the light switch for our thing on this tree trunk right here. So this little trunk is heading off towards this water. I'm just going to chuck in a lever and then a redstone torch, another redstone torch right there. And we're going to make sure that that connects up into our redstone line. And you know what? I think I'm actually going to use an oak wood block right there with redstone like that. And if we give this thing a flick, we should see that all of the redstone lamps will switch on. But as you can probably tell, some of our redstone lamps aren't actually connected into the redstone just yet. And I imagine that's because the redstone signal strength doesn't quite reach them. So let's just take a look around. That one's also missing. I think we've actually managed to miss that one there or perhaps the redstone's run out on that one as well. So once again, you're going to have to do another double check. Just make sure that you have connected up all of the redstone correctly and all of the redstone is fully powered. So this is what we've got so far. And if we set the time to night, for example, time set 14,000, it looks mega, doesn't it? It looks absolutely fantastic. But of course you can turn the lights on and off again. So we'll set the time today right now and flick this lever right here and you can see all of our redstone lamps have switched off, conserving energy, save the planet and all that sort of thing. So now it's time to start chucking in the other redstone contraptions that we're going to have inside our treehouse. So the first mini redstone contraption that we're going to be building right here 
is a weapon system. Now, I was thinking, you know, tree houses, usually they're for kids and things like that. Generally, kids don't have bow and arrow systems and crazy things like that. They're usually armed with water balloons, but unfortunately we don't have water balloons in Minecraft. So I picked the next best thing, eggs. We're going to be firing eggs from the top of our treehouse right here. Now the way that we're going to do that is we're going to create this simple little redstone clock right here. And then we're going to place in two dispensers facing outwards on top of both of these fences. Then we're going to switch off this lever. We're going to place an observer facing upwards like this with redstone dust connecting up all of our dispensers right there. And we're going to fill in our dispensers with the eggs and there we go we now have a fully automatic egg firing system that will shower any enemies with completely harmless objects but also quite funny objects and as you can see it works perfectly in fact it's arguably too good we're going to run out of eggs quite quickly which is why i'm going to add a hopper and a hopper and then a large double chest up at the top just like this on both sides and I'm going to fill it to the brim with eggs so that we have pretty much infinite ammo inside this thing. I mean, seriously, imagine living next door to these guys. It'd be terrible. Now this next one actually comes as a suggestion from my girlfriend. I asked her what she'd like in her dream treehouse and she responded with toilets, which I, I originally thought was a joke at first, but actually it's quite a smart idea. So what we're going to do is take out a few blocks like this. We're going to chuck in a sticky piston right there and that is going to push this block across just like that. Then we're going to place in a few blocks here and there with an upside down stair, a weighted pressure plate for the toilet seat. Then we're going to have the back of the toilet right there. And to flush this thing, we're going to have a redstone torch up against that tree trunk. We're going to have some water in the center. So now it is time for some of the finishing touches. First off, we need to place a button for the actual flushing mechanism. And then we need to place a chest right here and fill it up with paper so that we've got plenty of toilet paper right there. And you know what, I think we're going to do the first test of this thing. Ugh. Good, okay, that's plopped right in, and we hit the button, and it drops out of the treehouse, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Now, some of the extra final details, I'm going to be placing in a few stairs in like that, with a pressure plate just in the center, a nice little seating area, and then I think off in this direction, because the view is absolutely stunning, I'm going to place in a few stairs just going across like this as a sofa viewing that lovely area. But there we go, guys. That is our redstone treehouse all done and dusted. As you can see, we've got our working lighting mechanism, which looks brilliant. We have got our full secret entrance to allow us to get into this place. I mean, it all seems to work absolutely wonderfully. But unfortunately, ladies and gents, that is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.